Hey guys, it's your girl Nikki Proverbs 31. Um, try to make this video as quick as possible. Today we turned 30 weeks, so praise Jesus. I'm so grateful to God. That does mean that we, if we do decide to stay with our current hospital, we will definitely not have to think about uh, delivering at the big hospital. So God is good in that department. I do want to say thank you to everyone who has um, reached out and said that you were praying for us. We really need it, and we really appreciate it, and we ask that you continue to do so. It's been a couple of crazy few days. Um, Friday was, of course, when I came on. Saturday, I found out that my biological father's sister, my Aunt Chi Chi, had went into cardiac arrest and has been on in a medically induced coma, and um, they're trying to... Yeah, so if you guys can pray for her as well. And then my aunts from, because I have a whole bunch of aunts, <laughs> uh, from Ohio came to see about my grandmother and my aunt who was diagnosed with the stage four cancer. And somebody had stole her car out of my grandmother's driveway, which is crazy because that has never happened in all the years my grandmother's been at that house. So... And then yesterday, my Aunt Ollie, who was actually my grandmother's best friend, my grandmother didn't have any sisters, so she was like my mom's aunt and my aunt, she passed away yesterday, so my granny is taking it pretty hard. So again, if you guys can keep us lifted up in prayer, that would be greatly appreciated. But what I am learning is that, truthfully, whatever is in you will come out when you're under pressure. And I just thank and praise God that he has given me this peace in the midst of the storm. And so I want to encourage you that if you're going through a tough time, now is not the time to just retreat and cry and snot and just say, I give up. Now is the time to stand firm and trust God will see you through it. Tough times don't last long, but tough people do. And God will give you the strength in your weakness to go through whatever it is because he um in john 16 jesus talked about you know we will have trials and tribulations but be of good cheer that you know he has already overcome it and we've already have the victory i'm paraphrasing but you guys get it so um i also want to say Thank you to those who have decided to participate in the baby shower, the online baby shower, which is this Saturday, October 4th. I have received a few gifts um, or boxes, and I want to thank you all who have contributed. So this is not a solicitation, but I do um, want to just give you the information. It is this Saturday, and I did post on Facebook, and Robin did too, that um, today is Wednesday, so... If you guys have to send it later, send a, a gift later, I will do an updated version of that because I don't want anybody to be left out. Uh, so it may be a part two. And just so you'll, you all will know, Amazon, I am um, registered at Amazon, first name Nikki, last name Proverbs 31. But again, thank you all. <laughs> we weren't expecting anything, let alone the, the gifts that we have received. And so we gr greatly appreciate it. Now, regarding um, what we're deciding to do, we're still in prayer mode. But here were a couple of things that, you know, has been on our hearts and, and thought patterns. Now, um, <clears throat> as you know, my maternal fetal said that he wanted uh, the, the new guidelines is 39 weeks for a scheduled c-section and so with nia we did have her at 37 weeks not right now i'm doing a video just a moment okay go ahead so at 37 weeks nia was six pounds 12 ounces and um the report i did get my report back i got my physical report and it said that I lost 2,000 mLs of blood. I said 200 um, cc's, but it was 2,000 mLs. So whatever that equates to. And they could not, it was a small incision that they made and it was really hard to get Nia out. So they had to do, use the vacuum because of my uterus being stuck to the back. So my, con my question or concern or whatever was at 39 weeks, this baby is bigger than Nia now as far as where she was and where he is now in comparison. So, but he will definitely be bigger at 39 weeks doing a C-section. 
And so the concern was a bigger baby would be more of a challenge. But um, also, when I was talking to my maternal fetal, I said, so what what are the odds or what are the statistics as far as a uterine rupture if doing vaginal or just in general? Because you you can have a, knock on wood, won't happen in Jesus' name, but you can have a uterine rupture if you've had a myomectomy or C-section at any point in your pregnancy or delivery um, or labor and delivery. And he said it's about, for my case, about five to 9% chance. Okay. So when I was talking to my OB and we were talking about the chances of the hemorrhaging, he said it is definitely, if you hemorrhage before, more than likely there's a high chance, like a 90% chance that you will hemorrhage uh, again, which I'm not believing that either. Uh, but the information that I'm receiving. So my thought was, why are we, you know, you guys scared me into doing the, only doing a, a schedule C-section. And it was, I was under the assumption at 37 weeks, never at 39 weeks. And so when I was talking to my maternal fetal, more about what happens if I was to go into labor and God forbid, go, you know, my uter uterus rupture, you know, he said, well, we're well equipped. We'll be able to take care of it you know, et cetera, et cetera. He had no, you know, concern about that. And I said, well, well, that was the main reason why you told me I had to do this vaginal. So I'm saying all this to say is that we're still believing God to have full clarity and wisdom in what to do. I will be meeting with my OB next Wednesday, the 8th, and we're going to talk to him and tell him, express how we're feeling. But at this moment in time, we are in our hearts and our spirits have more peace about going the vaginal than the C-section. And so that means we will just wait it out and wait till he comes. We're 30 weeks, so we know he'll be here with between that, not now, but, you know, in 40 weeks. At 40 weeks, in 10 weeks, not 40 weeks. So that's where we're at right now. We're just, you know, just seeking God for total and complete wisdom. I have full peace in knowing that God is fully in control in whatever happens. But I just want to make sure that I'm doing what I believe in my heart is right, not what the doctors or the insurance or whomever else is, think is right. My mama, my daddy, my cousin, uh, I, we have to do what's right for us. And that's been working out when we follow God. We have received great results from following God and not man. Because uh, <laughs> it was left up to them, I wouldn't even have a uterus, so... Why am I going to start listening to them now? So I say all this to say, I'll let you guys know next week exactly what we're doing. As far as are we going to move forward with this OB or we have to change? Um, again, I did get my OR report, which is great. So I have it for future references for if I do decide to go with another physician. I will be, if we do decide to do a vaginal, we will be uh, seeking out a doula which is a person that will help during the laboring process. So yeah, I'm, we're ready. We're ready for whatever God has for us. So whew. thank you all for every subscriber from the newest to the oldest. I appreciate you all and I appreciate you following us on this journey. And I pray for you guys daily and I'm not giving up until, you know, every one of us is holding our take home babies. Also, Robin waiting to waiting for God's miracle, waiting to God's miracle, waiting for God's miracle, but she's not waiting anymore because she's pregnant. Happy 20th week. And this Sunday, she will find out what she's having. So I'm pretty excited for this gender reveal. I wish I could be there, but child, you have to FaceTime me in or hurry up and text me because I need to know what I, I, we have in. <laughs> but to all those who are about to start their FETs and things of that nature, I'm praying for you guys. I'm ruining you on. I'm trying to find some more new people who are starting their process so I can encourage you guys too. So let me know if you're about to start a journey. All right, you guys? Smooches!